Muito bom dia, sejam bem-vindos ao canal Olhos de Deus, onde temos tudo na frente dos olhos do nosso Criador. Gente, é, para avisar vocês que nesse momento temos aí exatamente o que? Vamos falar uma erupção do vulcão. Tem aqui a matéria, vou participar exatamente dessa notícia para vocês, com tradução, ok? São 10 minutos de matéria falando sobre exatamente esse vulcão. Tá? O vulcão entrou em erupção hoje, ok? Vamos lá, matéria, quero que vocês prestem atenção. Por favor, se inscrevam no canal Olhos de Deus, marque aí no sininho e dê um like. Um grande abraço para vocês. Fiquem com a matéria. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News, December 9th, 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an update on this developing story coming out of New Zealand. The update is, as of right now, five confirmed deceased and many more are missing in the eruption at this New Zealand volcano. John Timms, Deputy Commissioner of the National Police, said at a news conference that there are likely to be more deaths. Search and rescue operations have been stalled because at this stage it is too dangerous for the police and rescue services to go on to the island. Boats and ships and emergency aircraft in the area have removed 23 people from the island, many of them with burn injuries, he said. About 50 people were believed to have been in the area at the time of the eruption. Uh, Jonathan Fisherman, a spokesman for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines, told NBC News that multiple guests aboard the ship Ovation of the Seas were touring the island, which is normally quieter at the times when tourists are on the island. He had no further immediate information, adding, Please keep all of these affected folks in your prayers. And now the New Zealand police have stated that we are aware that people were on the island immediately before the eruption and we express our concerns for their safety. GeoNet also stated that the eruption was short-lived. It was a short-lived event. However, It generated an ash plume over 12,000 feet into the sky, but that ash fall appeared to be confined only to the island. The National Meteorology Service confirmed the eruption and tweeted a radar and satellite image of that eruption and its ash cloud. And Dan Harvey, a commercial fisherman who was out at sea, told Radio New Zealand that White Island had no clouds above it, but there was a burst of dark steam coming out of it, and I thought, oh, this is going to turn into something. It just looked like what you would see of a nuclear bomb going off, is what it looked like. Kind of was turning into a mushroom cloud. The way it just expanded around itself and just went straight up into the sky. Also, in a report in the New Zealand Herald, stated that the majority of those injured in the volcanic eruption were passengers on the cruise ship Ovation of the Seas. They were visiting the island during the day on a brief tourist trip. And one webcam image does show a group of people on New Zealand's White Island moments before the volcanic eruption. Now we're going to be bringing you the complete news conference from the New Zealand Police Department spokesman. Number of channels uh, of information to confirm exact numbers, uh, including how many people are still on the island. Both New Zealanders and overseas tourists are believed to be involved. We believe a number of these tourists have come from the Ovation of the Seas cruise ship. 
we cannot confirm the nationalities of these people involved. Due to the current risk, emergency services are unable to assess the island. And what I mean by that, we have taken advice from GeoNet and they have assisted us with making a risk assessment that the island is unstable, uh, there's possibilities of further eruptions, but actually the physical environment is unsafe for us uh, to return to the island. It is important that we consider the health and safety of those that are going to rescue those on the island. And so we will be taking that advice from experts going forward. There will be concerns out there by friends and family. And so we have set up a number uh, for those to make contact with us. And so people within New Zealand can call us on the 10 5. We'll go to our police website. From overseas, uh, there is a number that will be provided uh, shortly to you all so you can communicate. That would be fantastic. Thank you. And of course, uh, the Red Cross has activated the Family Links website for people wanting to register themselves as safe or to uh, register an inquiry about a loved one. We ask friends and family to make contact with their loved ones. If they have no luck, then please make contact uh, with Red Cross or with ourselves. It is a no-fly zone at the island at the moment, and uh, we will continue to update you on the events as they unfold. But again, can I just say our thoughts are absolutely with the friends and family of those that are injured and those that have died. Uh, and I'd like to thank you all for being here tonight, so thank you for that. And I'm happy to take a couple of questions. Are there still people on the island that are alive tonight? Uh, we don't know that. How, how are you able to confirm uh, five people dead? Uh, they were five uh, of um, those that were uh, rescued from the island earlier in the day. So they were already, they were already dead when the bodies were brought back? Uh, I can't confirm exactly um, that uh, information. Uh, I can find out for you, though. What is the status of those remaining? Sorry. When's the earliest estimation of when you wiped out of Yeah, like I said, we rely on experts to help us with that risk assessment. Uh, they are really clear that it is unsafe for our people or, uh, or other emergency services to go to that island right now. Uh, uh, we're not sure. We're just going to keep reassessing. Uh, you know, we will rely on the experts. Just, just to be clear, there were 23 people off the island, and that included the five uh, people who were dead or died. Yes. And how many of those remaining 18 are injured? Uh, my understanding, uh, they've all got some injuries to some degree. And are some of those pretty severe burns? Uh, yes. Yes. You were saying there could be possibly 27 people still on the island. What's the outlook for those? Uh, yeah, we're, firstly, we're unsure exactly the numbers that are on there, and we're uh, unsure uh, of their well being. Have you managed to establish communications at all? No. Would it be fair to say that there's at least a double digits number of uh, people remain on the island? Uh, yes. Can you be any more specific? No. How can you not be more specific? Surely these, these people who have been over there on tour operators, etc. What are you doing to, to identify that? Yeah, no, we're absolutely working with a range of people to, to make sure that we identify the numbers, uh, the names uh, of who have, who's, who's on the island or visited the island. And so we're just working through that. But it does take time. And so we've got to uh, make sure that we've got the right information in front of us. What are the nationalities of the people who have died? Uh, there's a range of nationalities, uh, and so I won't um, go any further than that at the moment. How can you be so sure about the risks and, I guess, um, could people die overnight while emergency services are holding back? Uh, like I said, uh, the experts that uh, we've spoken to have said it is unsafe for us to go onto that island. And so I've got to also consider uh, the safety of our people and emergency services staff. Are you trying to contact them? Is it by mobile phone? Uh, I can't comment, sorry. Do you know what kind of, I don't know, what reception there might be out on the island? Would that be a 
there's any way of contacting anyone on their island. I'm not sure, sorry. Scott Morrison indicated that there was a number of Australians on the island. Have you had any updates on, on the amount of Australians on the island? Oh, I can't comment at the moment. Final question. How close, like, how close are you to the island? Like, are you on a boat nearby or are you still at the shore? Uh, currently, we're on the shore. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a video clip of the volcano erupting and what seems to be one of these tourist boats looks to be several hundred yards off of the coastline and even in this type of situation, flying rocks, debris and hot ash can hit the boat. Uh, we've seen this happen before, I believe it was in Alaska. A tourist boat was hit with debris from an erupting volcano. This is still a developing story. We will have an update as soon as more information is available. So make sure you stay tuned to Planet X News. Thank you for watching. Então é isso, gente. É, estamos falar exatamente de uma notícia aí quentíssima para vocês, para vocês perceberem que o que está acontecendo na nossa terra não é normal, ok? Que muitos acham que é tudo normal, mas não é normal. Então, vejam bem, eu queria pedir para vocês atenção sobre o mês de dezembro. E dezembro vamos ter muitas surpresas. Aqui fica com vocês o canal Olhos de Deus, sempre com as informações, ok? Clique aí para se inscrever no nosso canal e dê um clique de like, joinha aí para nós. Vocês fiquem sempre atualizados com as informações do canal Olhos de Deus. Um beijo no coração, muita saúde, paz e prosperidade para todos vocês. Tamo juntos.